Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. It is good to be back here in the classroom. I love just having a consistent schedule. I mean, a bell rings in the morning, tells me it's time to go to work, and then a bell rings again in the afternoon, says time to go home. It's kind of like being Fred Flintstone. I love it. All right, let's get to this week's lesson plan. Today is Monday. Going to open up three packs of Bowman U Hobby. National Championship game is tonight. Tuesday will be the final update. The results of the Pay Dirt Fantasy Football League. Open up one pack of 2016 Optic. Uh, Wednesday is going to be the home rip. The boys want to get into the certified football. We'll open up one pack of those. And I think two packs of Bowman U. Thursday, 2023, three packs of Mosaic Football. And then Friday, Don Russ 2023, three packs will be going downtown hunting. So my prediction about that Packers score was a little bit off, or a lot off, but the Packers did get it done. Now it's on to the Dallas Cowboys. All right, class is in session. Today's lesson is dedicated to the number 89. And that goes out to, you know, one of my favorite positions in football is the tight end. The Packers have had a lot of really good ones. Mark Chamora, Bubba Franks, Jermichael Finley, just to name a few. But I always give a lot of respect to Mike Ditka. A lot of people forget he was a great football player. In fact, he was the first tight end inducted into the National Football League Hall of Fame. And he was a you know beloved Chicago Bears coach. And if I was a Bears fan, I definitely would have loved him the way a lot of my classmates in school loved the coach and his Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live skits. Um, I remember working the time when he did sing the seventh inning stretch at the Cubs game. My goodness, he was on a pitch clock. I think that was the first time the pitch clock was ever used because he sang that thing in record time. But one of my favorite things was probably his TV commercial for the Majestic Star Casino. He was pumping up a group of, uh, I originally thought it was like all older ladies, but I did watch it this morning. A few older ladies, you know, some people my age. Uh, pumping them up to go out to the casino. And they ran out of that locker room. They grabbed their buckets for their quarters and headed out there to make some money. Um, a friend of mine and I, we went to the casino a couple times. I'm never like a real big gambler. I do like, you know, the the home card games more. And uh, we were playing the slot machines the one time. And the coach was right there in this like velour track suit pumping in quarter after quarter into the machine it was a sight to be seen and we did say coach and he said kind of you know heads up over there thumbs up chomping his gum but he uh, did not disappoint that's for sure all right what do you think who's going to win the national championship game i know a lot of people said the national championship was alabama versus michigan i don't think that's the case i'm not going to say alabama is going to win but i do see a kind of low scoring game you know washington is a high-powered offense, but I do think that, oh, Graham's looking for some more uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. cards. But I do think, you know, Michigan's going to grind out a lot more possession, so just a few chances for Washington to score. But um, I think it's going to be around that three-point uh, difference. But I do look forward to watching the national championship game. I do like uh, watching college football. And Graham did start to put this set together. He combined both of our cards and a lot more duplicates than I thought that we were going to have. So that's always kind of a little bit disappointing. In fact, we've got a duplicate right here, don't we? Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. But I, I do have his card in a parallel or two. Nick Singleton. Howard Williams. All right, so what am I going to go with? I think it's going to be, I'm going to go with Washington to win the game, folks. going to go crazy right there. And what was I thinking? Two autographs in that hobby box yesterday. My mind was probably going to Top Stadium Club, which maybe is coming out in a couple of weeks. Who knows? But I do know this. Class is dismissed.